On this edition of Hidden History, we're looking at an apron that was donated by Miss Novella Hames of the Hames family in Bay City. And it was worn by a Miss Marie Alexandra Jones who resided with the Hames family in old age for a few years during the 1930s. According to our records, Marie Alexandra Jones was born into slavery in about 1844 in St. James Parish, just outside of New Orleans, Louisiana. At some point in her life, she escaped slavery, and according to our records, she was bound out to a Yankee soldier who had a southern wife, and she would have been about 10 years old at this time, and was a companion to their child. At some point, she escaped north, and she made her way to Detroit, Windsor, Ontario, and eventually Boston, Massachusetts, and somewhere along the line, she became a cater apprentice. During the 1880s, she made her way to the Saginaw and Bay City area, where she opened a catering business and catered to a lot of social gatherings in the area. This apron was worn by Marie Alexandra Jones during her years as a caterer in Saginaw Bay City. This apron is approximately 120 years old. Aside from social gatherings, she was also known to cater to some of the wealthy elite families in Bay City, such as the Davison family and the Cranish family. Captain James Davison was known for the Davison Shipyard. The Davison Shipyard built some of the largest wooden vessels on the Great Lakes, exceeding 300 feet long. If you look closely, you can still see some brown stains on it, like right down here, from some accidents she may have had while cooking. Items like this are very important to the Bay County Historical Society, as this apron represents the story of a woman that was born into slavery, moved north to make a new life for herself, and died a successful caterer. This apron is also an important piece of Bay County's black history. Earlier this year, the Bay County Historical Society revealed our first permanent black history exhibit, which can be viewed in the main hallway. We also have a growing virtual black history exhibit, which you can view through scanning the QR code in our hallway or visiting our website, www.bchsmuseum.org. If you think you would have an item of Bay County's history that you think is of importance to donating to the museum for its preservation, do not hesitate to reach out to us. We also encourage you to visit the museum in person. We're located in downtown Bay City, right next to City Hall. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And make sure to click that bell icon to stay notified when we upload new content. Videos like this are only possible because of viewers like you. To help support this channel, click on the link in the description below. We'll see you next time.